Hi everybody, how are you? It's so good to be with you. It just really makes my heart feel good to be able to share with you my medical knowledge and information and having worked with thousands and thousands of patients and similarly working with many thousands of patients as, a, as an ordained minister. I love putting medicine and ministry together. It's the love of God for all of us and also the knowledge that we have from the medical field. Really welcome you to send us any one of your questions or your concerns or things you're dealing with that you need help with because we love to. Wherever you're coming from, whether you're from the California, San Francisco Bay Area, other parts of California, or from anywhere in the country, we just welcome you. So I wanted to start today issues like colds and flus because these are so common. So what do we usually see with these kinds of illnesses? Well, all kinds of things. You can get congestion, sinus problems, nasal congestion, um, post-nasal drip, that kind of drip that goes down the back of your throat, sore throats, earache, headaches, coughing, phlegm, congestion. Uh, it can go into bronchitis or even pneumonia. Aches and pains, even digestive problems. So covering a lot of territory when we talk about you know colds, flus, and even allergies. Allergy symptoms are very similar to colds and flus, except you get a little more itching and irritation of the eyes and you know redness, that sort of thing, with m more of the allergies symptoms you can get more skin types of rashes like eczema or asthma in terms of uh, how it affects lungs so anyway all these respiratory things are no fun if any of you are dealing with this as millions of people in our country are everything from kids to grown-ups to the elderly these are actually very easy things to get over as a doctor I would see patients come in who've been suffering for weeks or they might have six colds a year or two or three bronchitis a year and it was constant sinusitis constant congestion it just seemed to be never-ending and I do want to mention to you that you can certainly work with these on the medical side with medications that are going to help but the very best thing actually is prayer nothing can come better than prayers to the Lord because he can boost your immunity God can heal everything I mean that is really the number one healing blessing to do is first of all pray to the Lord because he will heal everything he guarantees that in the Bible it's many many places in the Bible it says how God will heal you over and over again just trust in him bless him pray to him what doctors like Malou and myself do is we pray medically as well as spiritually because that's how God trained me to pray when I first started to do prayer healing ministry as a doctor in the hospitals all over the San Francisco Bay Area. I was in many different hospitals praying for the sick. And God taught me how to pray from the medical side the way he wanted it. It was much more amazing than I would have done on my own. You know, usually when people pray for illness, they'll just say, Dear Lord, please heal the diabetes. Or please bring down my blood pressure, heal my blood pressure. Or please God get rid of my back pain. But how God taught me to pray was with much more detail, using the knowledge that he's given me as a medical doctor. So he said, if you want to heal, you have to restore the body the way I created it. So that's how he's taught me to pray. It's very important to think about the body that way, which is how did God create it. So if you have colds and flus and allergies and that sort of thing, these are, these are issues that require strengthening of your immune system. Not just, Lord, get rid of the cold, you know, please stop my coughing. Yes, you want to get rid of all the symptoms of all these things. You want to shortcut them, you want to get rid of them. But in doing that, you have to build up and balance those things created by God that would keep you healthy in the first place. So you never do get a cold. You never do get a flu, you just, the allergies, it's like they never happen. And that means we have to build up your immune system. The immune system is part of what we call the glandular system of the body. The, another word is the endocrine system. And that's regulated by glands in the brain. Um, I don't know how many of you have heard of these, but they're regulated through two glands in the brain. One's called the hypothalamus. These are your master glands. The other is called the pituitary. And they regulate all the glands of your body, all the hormones, all the chemical messengers. And we make tons of these. They affect every cell of your whole body. So we need a nice, strong glandular system. And the same thing with the immune system, which is part of that, to heal cancer, to heal infections, whether it's virus, bacteria, fungus, parasites, heal allergies, heal sensitivities. We need a strong immunity. And where does that come from? It comes from our bone marrow. So we need to have a nice, strong, healthy bone marrow making strong, healthy cells. 
um, what we call white cells, which combat infection directly, and then red cells, which carry oxygen and build your energy, and then platelets, which regulate bleeding. It's incredible. It's a soft, spongy middle part of your, of your bones, and it's like your factory for immunity. So the stronger that is, the stronger you are. So to get over your colds, um, this is something that I want to pray into for you, as well as the brain, which regulates everything in the body. So it regulates your immunity. So I'm going to go ahead, and because there's a little more I want to share with you about your immune system, then I'll come back and we'll work more on strengthening your immune system. We love you guys. Bless you. We'll love to be helping you in every way we can. I'll be back really soon. Bless you all.